Still no sign of a missing college student from Homewood. It's been nearly a week since Anaya Blanchard was reported missing to Auburn police. She's living in the area while attending community college in Opelika, but an outpouring of hope is visible right in her hometown. A Homewood florist with help from volunteers is making hundreds of bows for homes and businesses to display. WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff is at one of those businesses this afternoon. Jeff? Seeds Coffee Company is where I'm standing now, and it's one of the many places that, uh, well, you can come and pick up a bow and honor this missing 19-year-old girl whose favorite color is indeed baby blue. So we went and bought all the baby blue ribbon in Alabama. And florist Bradley Gilbert has invited volunteers to Homewood Flowers in Brookwood Village. Since Monday, 60 people have been twisting ribbons into bows. When this day is through, it'll be around a thousand bows that have been made. Lynn Haney volunteered. My heart has been so heavy since Cupcake and now this that you think, what can I do to help? To help a worried community and mostly Anaya's parents. And I'm a mother and I can't imagine what they're going through and how their hearts are broken. On a gray day, baby blue signals of hope for Anaya dot the landscape. We've driven through Edgewood and Hollywood and West Homewood and they're everywhere. And somewhere out there is Anaya Blanchard. I pray that she's found and I pray that she's found safely. Until that time, folks are invited to pick up a bow and help make a thousand more for Anaya at Homewood Flowers. We're live with everyone else hoping in Homewood. Jeff Elias off WVTM 13. And there is now a reward for information in this case. Governor Kay Ivey's office offering $5,000 if it tip leads to an arrest and conviction. The governor was here in Birmingham earlier today. She was asked about the recent number of missing persons investigations in our state. And so many missing people, it seems. we got to find a way to correct this, but yes, we'll stay on top of that. Now, in a statement announcing the reward, the governor went on to say that her office is following the case closely and encourages anyone with information to come forward. You can stay up to the minute, up to date on this investigation. We've got the latest information for you right now on the WVTM 13 app.